In this video, I want to show you how you can configure controllers and build your own laboratory of SCBAN. First, we should configure vManage and then vBond and after that vSmart. Very good. Let's get started. First, I turn on the vManage. In this time, all scenarios components are now off. Very good. I start vManage. First, I start vManage and click it. Very good. I want to show you all of the steps to vManage. Very good. You see booting process of vManage. All of this booting process can take time about one minute or a little further. Very good. And also, okay, you see a prompt vManage login. If you enter your username or and password, username admin, and after that password admin, you see a, an error because the system is initializing. If you see system ready message, you can enter password and your user, username. Now admin, login, Please wait to log in. You should see first system ready message and after that enter username and password. Okay. We should waiting here to see the system ready message. In the time of initializing system, I start Windows Server. Yes, system ready message now is ready. Very good. Admin, admin username and password is same and admin admin. Here I start. Uh, CA or Windows Server another time. Okay, we manage login admin password admin very good and we should re-enter initial admin password you should use same password first admin and second re-enter password admin you can change your password if you want admin admin okay admin admin very good and you see available storage devices two storage first vdb 100 gigabyte htc 3 gigabyte we use vdb very good i select vdb one you should enter one vdb and after that would you like to format vdb yes i want to format and the format is begin okay you should wait here to format complete okay very good and then go to v1 i start v1 start v1 and also start vsmart after we manage we should configure v1 and then vsmart and also in the previous video we configure ca in our windows server let's log into windows server click on windows server for example here Okay, Ultra VNC now is open. Please wait. And also you can see format process in vManage. This is vManage. Okay, very good. Please control alt delete to sign in. Yes, control alt delete. And I enter my user, my password. This is my password. Okay. I should log in. Yes, I log into windows server very good this is our ca we use it for taking certificate for our devices for our controllers very good and also we can see the format process in vManage click vBond click vSmart after vManage we should configure vBond and vSmart vBond and vSmart very good the format now isn't complete because we should wait and because of that we should wait and uh, we should go to windows server or ca yes and from here i can open a web browser for example chrome okay i start web browser from here i want to go my ca web page http colon slash slash localhost slash cr 
cert SRV HTTP colon slash slash local host another time HTTP colon slash slash local host slash cert SRV and enter it very good in this time we should see Microsoft CA web page okay I'm waiting and also you see that format process now continue very good localhost cert SRV I'm waiting for this and also you can see the format process in the left side very good very good Microsoft Active Directory certificate service is now ready okay we use it minimize it go to we manage after we manage format process is complete we should wait some time to see system ready message if you try to log in now you should see you see an error message because of that we should wait for we manage to log in after we, sh we see the system ready message we should bootstrap we manage very good now we manage is ready system ready message appear enter okay we manage login admin and then password admin you should see we manage prompt yes this is we manage prompt and now we should configure or we should bootstrap we manage it's so easy please look at here for we manage basic configuration or we manage minimal configuration or bootstrap you should use these commands first in vmanage you should type config t or config terminal so easy config terminal or config such as conf t in ios don't forget this is viptel os and not ios this is Viptel OS, but it's very similar to, to iOS. We manage config, config terminal. And after that, we should use system command. System, we go to system, yes. And now you can uh, configure basic parameters for vManage. For example, first parameter you should configure system IP. System IP is a unique identifier and it's not needed to be rotable system IP we should design system IP for our scenario for example I use this design for example here yes we manage system IP 111 for example 3 it's optional we bond 111 2 vsmart 1114 and also v8 this v8 we can use uh, for vmanage 1 1 and use the third part site id 1103 for example 1102 and 1104 it's okay and for v8 and ch we can use this system IPs VH11 one, 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 one. this is the third octet the third octet here is the uh, site ID and the fourth octet is the VH number first VH VH11 and then VH21 1121 for example for VH21 very good and for ch31 we, sh we can use 1131 for system ip and for ch41 i can use 1141 yes it's okay very good and because of that i should use system ip1 for vmanage for we manage one one hundred three one one hundred three okay I can configure it 